This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to go over diatomaceous earth. I've got a lot of videos like this on my channel. If you want, you can search my channel and take a look at them. Uh, but we're going to talk about it again today. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. I, uh, so I, I've, I've, let's beat this dead horse. Um, the thing about diatomaceous earth is a lot of people use it for pest control. It's considered a cheap, affordable way people can go in and do their own pest control and kill bugs, and it does kill bugs. Uh, so I want to get that out right off the top. It's, it's not a scam. Diatomaceous earth actually does kill bugs. Um, but we're going to go into the, the differences between pool grade and food grade because these are the things that come up on my videos all the time about DE and how I'm just lying to people and I need to explain to them the differences between food grade and, and pool grade diatomaceous earth and how I just uh, don't know what I'm talking about and I'm just trying to sell pesticides. Okay, one, pesticides. Pesticides are used to kill bugs, right? They're toxic. You know, they have to be because they kill something. You know, anything that kills something would be considered toxic. You know, you have levels of toxicity up and down. And, you know, pesticides are considered toxic because they kill bugs. Now, just because it kills a bug doesn't mean it's going to kill you. You know, this is a big thing that a lot of people say this. I don't want to spray that stuff around my house because it kills bugs. What's it going to do to me? All right. A, a bug is an arthropod. Okay, that means it is a uh, an invertebrate. <laughs> it has an exoskeleton. It's it's not it's not going to, you know, it's going to take a different you know mode. You could say, all right, let's put it this way: shoes kill bugs. I don't know if I want shoes in my house. A shoe might kill me. That'd be horrible if a shoe killed me. That'd be awful, you know? I don't want shoes in my house because last time I saw someone step on a bug, it killed it, you know? That, it's silly. It's really silly because the thing is, is it's going to take... Pesticides are mixed at a certain concentration. The, the, the chemical is a certain strength, okay? The strength of a pesticide is is indicative on the what type of pest you're even trying to kill. Let's say you're trying to kill cockroaches. A lot of times the pesticide mix, the amount of concentrate you put to water is actually stronger or less strong depending on what kind of bug you're trying to kill because if you mix it to a certain strength, it won't even kill a roach. It might kill a spider, but it won't kill a cockroach because a cockroach is not the same type of an animal as a spider you are not the same as a spider or a cockroach either you know not to mention that you're a hundred times larger than these kind of you know creatures and so the pesticide is not going to harm you as long as you follow your label i use crossfire to kill bed bugs crossfire is actually labeled to use on a mattress a lot of people say i don't want to spray pesticide all over my mattress and then sleep on it and that's understandable but the label says that it's safe to do that. It's been tested. You know, that's what I'm trying to get at is that pesticides have to go through rigorous tests uh, through all kinds of agencies, all kinds of peer review studies all, before it can even be listed as a pesticide, before it can even be sold to you or to me for that matter as a pesticide. All right. This, this is a true thing about chemicals. They have to be tested. Diatomaceous earth is not considered a pesticide. It's considered a form of, of all natural pest control. It's not, you know, it, it's not a chemical. It's not a pesticide. 
It's actually diatoms. Diatoms are crustaceans. They're microscopic crustaceans that when a, similar to sand, but they're, they're in a category of silicate. Now a silicate is a type of a sand, all right? That sand is a silicate. Um, uh, the little silica packets like you get in your shoes. If you buy a brand new pair of shoes, they absorb water. They, uh, you know, silica uh, is a silicate, of course. Um, you know, it's it's basically they all of the same family of 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 because you know we're as humans we we separate things into families. Uh, and so a silica a silicate silicate is a family of you know like sand. And diatomaceous earth falls under a silicate. All right, it is. Uh, an all-natural type of a pesticide, I guess you could call it that, but it isn't really a pesticide. It does kill bugs. It does kill uh, cockroaches. Um, it kills, you know, bed bugs. Even it kills lots of bugs. Okay, so the problem with diatomaceous earth, and now we're going to get into the meat of the video. The biggest issue with diatomaceous earth <coughs> is that you hear that? It does that to you. It makes you cough. It gets into your lungs. It gets into the air you breathe, and it gets into your lungs. All right, the way diatomaceous earth works on an insect, the reason it kills insects is because insects have an exoskeleton. They're invertebrates with an exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is a hard exterior. Uh, it's, it's basically their spine, their bones. Um, because you know they don't have an interior skeleton like like we do, they have an exterior skeleton, which is why it's called an exoskeleton. All right, so that's how their body is kept together. That's how all the moisture is kept in their body. And when a bug crawls through diatomaceous earth, it will cause micro abrasions on their exoskeleton, which allows the fluid and the moisture to evaporate, which makes the bug die of dehydration. That is how diatomaceous earth works. That's also how the how Cimexa works. Cimexa is similar. It's a silicate as well. It's actually silica dust is what uh, uh, Cimexa is. Okay, so both of these work pretty much the same way. They cause microabrasions on the bug's body. They evaporate the moisture out of the body, and the bug dies from, you know, dehydration. All right, so, and that, that's how it works. The problem is when you breathe it into your lungs, it causes little microabrasions in your lungs too. It causes the buildup of mucus and things. It causes a, 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 an actual, um, it doesn't, you know, some people will say it causes cancer. I don't believe it causes cancer. I'm not a doctor, but I do know that it causes silicosis. In fact, I have a doctor that I work for. I, one of my customers is a doctor. Her husband's a doctor. They're both doctors. And they said they see this all the time with the uprising of bed bugs people trying to kill them as cheaply as possible and they're going to Walmart and they're going to Lowe's and they're buying food grade food grade diatomaceous earth all right and because they believe that because it says food on the label that it somehow makes it safe to use inside their home on their beds on their couches all over the place to the point where this you can't get away from it all right they're using it right on their mattress they're using it on their box spring they're using it all over the house and they, you know, it is a dangerous substance, and I'm going to explain to you why. So a lot of people will say, well, you need to tell them about food grade. You need to differentiate between food grade and pool grade. Well, the reason that, that there is a difference is because the pool grade diatomaceous earth isn't as heavily monitored, and that's typically what you use in, like, a pool cleaner, um, like the sand filters and stuff like that, because, it can, like I said, it, 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 it's a good thing for that. It, it kills, uh, you know bugs and it also helps uh, filter pool water all right so that's why people use it in their pool okay there are now this is going to be in the scientific realm but I want to explain to you as simply as I can I want to explain it to my audience that diatomaceous earth has two different forms there's a crystalline and an amorphous type of diatomaceous earth <laughs> the crystalline form of diatomaceous earth um, is in all diatomaceous earth. It's in food grade and it's in pool grade. Now, it is not as concentrated in food grade. They try to eliminate as much of the crystalline diatomaceous earth as they possibly can, but it's still there. There are still minute 
particles of crystalline diatomaceous earth inside the diatomaceous earth that you cannot possibly get rid of. This is what does the lung damage. This is what makes you cough. This is what makes, you know, this is what hurts you, is the crystalline diatomaceous earth. Now, you're more likely to get hurt from pool grade diatomaceous earth quicker. It's going to cause you problems sooner. But even food grade diatomaceous earth will hurt you. It does hurt people all the time. I go into homes with the stuff. They've sprinkled it everywhere. They've put it all over the place. And even people will say, well, I put it really light and I used a duster and you could hardly even see it. The thing is, is that when the sun shines in your room early morning and you look into the air and you focus on the air particles in the air, you can see dust in the air. You know, any kind of dust you put in your house, you know, just skin cells, you know, just regular dust, you know, will accumulate in your house. And as the air conditioning cuts on, as the ceiling fans run, as it, you know, it stirs the dust up and it will stir that diatomaceous earth up into the air as well. You will breathe it in. You will not be able to avoid it. You can put your dust mask on. You can put on a respirator when you apply it. And you can try your best to stay out of it. But it absolutely will get in the air and you will breathe it in. And it is not healthy. It is really bad for your health. Like I said, doctors are seeing patients coming into the hospital with lung problems, COPD, asthma. These are the kinds of problems that using diatomaceous earth lead to. You know, yeah, you may not get cancer, but silicosis is pretty close to lung cancer. It's a pretty serious disease that is absolutely preventable. You don't have to get, you don't have to hurt yourself. Why would you hurt yourself to get rid of a bug that's hurting you? That doesn't make sense. Kill the bugs. If you follow me regularly, you know that if I'm, mainly the people who are using diatomaceous earth are people with bed bugs because that's what you search on YouTube. That's what people find on YouTube. How to kill bed bugs. How I killed bed bugs for less than $10. How I killed bed bugs for less than $25. You know, these are these big, huge, let's let's talk about how I killed bed bugs and saved a lot of money. You know, a lot of these people will lie to you too because they just want views on YouTube. They just want people to come and view their video. And you look at these videos that have millions of views. I don't have anywhere close to millions of views on any of my videos. But the point is, is I'm just trying to help you. I want you, I want you to, to practice safe pest control. I don't want you to hurt yourself. And the reason I recommend Crossfire is not because I'm trying to sell chemical. If you buy Crossfire from one of my links, and I have an Amazon page, you could go to Amazon, you could go look at my pesticides that I have there. I don't sell them. You know, I've got them available to where you can find them. You know, you could look at them, you could see them, you could get them, but you could also go and price compare and buy them from someone else. I get about a, I don't know what the percentage is that that Amazon pays me is like a sales commission, but I don't, you know, I don't have them in my house. I don't sell it out of my house. I don't try to, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, side hustle a pest control pesticide business. You know, I own my own pest control company. That's what I do for a living. I do YouTube as a hobby. I'm just here to help you guys. But the pesticides that I have there, the reason I made my Amazon page is because people come in and they ask me, they're like, where can I get the stuff you talk about? And this is just a couple years ago. They're asking me this. I, I haven't, I've been on YouTube for six years. My Amazon page has only been up maybe two, two and a half years. It hasn't been up that long. And the only reason it's there is to give you a reference so you can find what you need and the pesticides that you need to buy because you can buy everything that I use in my business on Amazon. It's, it's actually not that hard to find the chemicals. In fact, you don't even have to go to Amazon. You can go do your own pest control, doityourself.com, whatever, all these different websites. You can find, you can go to walmart.com and find the chemicals that I use and order it and they'll ship it to your house. So I always tell people, you know, price compare, get the cheapest price. Most of the time, Amazon's the cheapest. But I just want you to get rid of your bugs. And if, I, if you were to hire me and I came into your house and you had a bed bug problem, I'd spray Crossfire. I wouldn't use diatomaceous earth because I know diatomaceous earth is going to hurt you. Diatomaceous earth is going to hurt me just to apply it. I mean, you have to wear a dust mask or a respirator and it's not, and then I have to go back in the house maybe in a month or so and I don't want to re-expose myself to something that can harm my lungs. I'm not going to use it. I don't recommend you use it. I don't tell people to do things that I wouldn't do. I don't do heat treatments. I don't do heat treatments. I feel like it's a horrible way to get rid of bugs when you go in and you burn somebody's house down. 
you know, or turn it into an easy bake oven. We're not making cookies. We're trying to kill bed bugs, you know, and I'm not going to do that to my own house. I'm not going to do it to yours. I treated my house. Almost 10 months ago, I treated my house for bed bugs. It's the first time I brought them in in over 20 years of killing bed bugs. I brought bed bugs in my house. And I treated with crossfire. And I've got a newborn baby. Baby's healthy. Baby's fine. Chemicals didn't hurt my family. Chemicals didn't hurt my children. I got four children. None of my children are, are hurt. They're all fine. And I tell you what we don't have, we don't have bed bugs. You know, we don't have bed bugs, we don't have silicosis, we don't have any kind of lung disorder because I went and put dust all over my house and hurt myself and my family. Don't do that. I'm looking out for you. I'm not trying to sell pesticide. I'm not trying to, you know, make some kind of big deal over uh, you know, chemicals and stuff like that because I'm trying to sell chemicals or because I'm hurt, because diatomaceous earth has somehow hurt my business. It hasn't. It hasn't hurt my business. In fact, diatomaceous earth is one of the active ingredients in, uh, in uh, alpine dust, which is what I use for yellow jackets and stuff all the time. Um, it's not a horrible thing, but also when you're using it in the yard and you're using it to kill bugs in the yard, you're not going to breathe it in. It's not in your house. It's not on your bed. You know, you can do that. You could go and take it and put it out in the house, not in the house, outside the house, and yeah, it's not a bad pesticide or whatever for that, a dust or whatever you want to call it. But don't use it in your house. Don't breathe it in. Don't put it around your family. Don't put it around your children. You're trying to get rid of bugs. You're trying to get the bugs out of your house and get them away from your kids. Don't put something in there that's just as harmful or actually more harmful to you because bed bugs don't carry pathogens. You don't have to worry about bed bugs making you sick. Diatomaceous earth will make you sick. So... Hopefully this video has been informative about DE. Hopefully you guys understand my stance on diatomaceous earth and why I don't want people to use it, why I tell people not to use it. Uh, if you like the video, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel and follow me on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and follow me so you can catch my live streams because I do live streams every Thursday night. I, do, I get on live and I talk to you. I'll answer your questions. Come ask me about diatomaceous earth. I'll talk to you about it. Um, you know, ask me about bed bugs. Ask me about cockroaches. It's called the bed bug show, but I talk about any kind of bugs, you know, any, anything you want. I'll tell you about my kids. I'll show you pictures of my kids if you want to see them. I, I do that sometimes. And also, you know, drawing with Jason. I, I can actually show you how, you know, different things work and how different pesticides work on bugs. But anyway, that's live on uh, Thursday nights, typically after 9 o'clock at night because i got to get the bed, kids to bed. So... Hopefully this has been effective in, in, in explaining to you the differences in diatomaceous earth, crystalline, amorphous diatomaceous earth. And like I said, leave a comment below if you have any more questions about it, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Y'all have a good day. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.